All right, Dr. Shankopotamus here again. I'm going to be uh, showing y'all how to uh, clean a uh, Springfield XD 9mm. Let me grab my grab my snake that lives over there in the corner because it's an integral part of uh, cleaning these guns. Alrighty, so we open it up here. The uh, Springfield kit. It's your instructions and your manual here, right there. All right. Comes with a uh, a holster. It's on your belt right there. Never really used it very much. A couple of times around the farm, um, had it on, but uh, not so much. This is really handy. This is a loader, okay, for your mags, and then this is a holder. Put two mags on your belt. Never really use that one either, but uh, comes in the kit. All right. Also comes with a uh, lock, okay. I usually keep my guns locked up so I don't have a lock on them. They are usually in my uh, gun safe. And this is nice. This little guy here that goes in the chamber lets you know absolutely for sure this gun is unloaded. Okay? There's a magazine in here because I have multiple magazines. This is a loaded magazine. Okay? And um, with storage, see there's for the magazine in there. But this magazine is actually, as you can see, empty. Um, and with this in the chamber, I know absolutely this. This gun is empty. Um, <clears throat> I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to bring your slide back. Okay. And you're going to lock your slide back. It's the first step. Take this out. This is the one that came with the gun. Uh, Clean Bore makes some of them that are nice little round magazines that are actually very handy. I've got I mean, magazine uh, fillers that are actually very handy. i got a couple of them. Um, the nice thing about the clean bore is that you can you can keep it up in your gun and if something ever happened you had to use your gun when you um, load your gun when you pull the slide back it will pop out the way that it's made so you hopefully you would never have to if you ever get a situation where you had to use your gun um, in your house to defend yourself protect your family um, you can keep this in to protect your family and then when it's needed. Hopefully you would never need to use this in a uh, situation like that when it's needed. Pull the slide back, it pops out. That way a round goes in. Okay. Anyway, this is the one from Springfield that came with it. That's still handy to let you know that it is unloaded. Always double check, look down the bore. Nothing in there. Okay. Nothing in there. So let me get this out of the way and uh, we will commence to cleaning here. All right, so once you take your XD9, you get your slide back. Um, the XD9 does not have a safety button per se on it, all right? but it does have a few safety features. Back here on the back, it's got a, like an accessory trigger. Put your, put your hand against that if your hand's not tied against the uh, back of the um, uh, back of the grip, then it's not going to fire. Okay, without that down, it won't fire. The other thing is it's got a double trigger. Okay, if you accidentally catch the trigger from the side, of course the slide's back, but the trigger won't pull. Okay, you've got to have both thing, both triggers down to get the trigger to pull. So that's the safety that's on this, uh, this particular model, but it's been a really, really nice model. Considering, um, I'm considering switching it out for a match grade barrels, but the only thing that I would do to it, it's a pretty accurate gun uh, as it stands. So you take, Take your slide, lock your slide back right here. Bring your slide um, slide release up. Okay. Now you don't want to just let go of your slide here; it'll go flying across the room. Okay. So what we're going to do is get a hold of our slide back here. All right. And then with this hand, we're going to release the slide. It's going to want to fly forward. You don't want it flying forward. You just let it slide forward. Okay. And then. 
See it's cocked here. Gonna release the trigger and it's gonna slide off. Alright. Let's put our grip to the side. And uh, this is the slide with the barrel. There's only a few pieces in here that you want to take apart. Um, you also do want to be careful with a couple of these pieces to not oil them very heavily. You oil these pieces too heavily, they're going to attract dirt. Um, and that's not good for your gun. Okay. Right now this one's been through about, uh, I'd say a, about 80 rounds, 90 rounds since the last time that I cleaned. I cleaned my guns, try to clean them after every use. So you want to take the spring off, I'll show you here. You push forward, lift up. Okay, spring comes out. Then this comes apart. It's your gas turn. And then your barrel is going to drop right out. Just like that. Okay. Let you slide here barrel here. You can see there's a little bit of oil on my barrel there. Keep my barrels oiled. Well, well, you can see this one's been through a lot of rounds and still is very accurate. A little bit of rub there on the front of the barrel. Okay. Back part of the barrel here gets very dirty. Okay. I've also noticed there's a few rounds. One in particular is the uh, Winchester white box. Okay. Still have some of those left. I try to use them up. Um, the Winchester white box tends to leave quite a bit of grime right here, right on the ramp, and uh, gets very hard to clean up. Been on a few times to the range and gone through about uh, four or five hundred rounds of the Winchester, and it uh, it really does grime it up. I found that the Federal Eagle is some of the best shooting, cleanest shooting ammunition that I've, that I've used. And this one is, I've shot this one quite a bit. Thank goodness, only at inanimate objects and uh, targets. All right. Hope that I never have to shoot at anything but an inanimate object. Alrighty, so you take your snake. Always pull your snake down the barrel, okay? From the, uh, the chamber up to the end. I think the gun guys would call it the breech. But just to be simple, back of the barrel to the front of the barrel, okay? The same way the bullet would travel, alrighty? That's the way you want to pull the snake through. Okay? Exact same direction that the bullet would travel. Alright. Okay. Yeah. You can see how much cleaner that ramp is. See, it just shines right there. End of your barrel cleaned off. Take a quick look down the barrel, make sure you don't have anything in there, make sure the rifling is still clean. There's no small burrs or anything down in the barrel. That's it for your barrel. Now you take your slide. Now here's the part you gotta be careful with. You wanna clean down the sides of the slide. Okay, like this. Where your slide is actually sliding. You wanna be careful back in here. Firing pin. Okay. You want to scrub off the front here where your firing pin is. Can you guys can you see that? Right there. Let me get a little more. That's where your firing pin comes out here. Okay. But you don't want to get this too, too wet. Okay. Now you can take one of your other snakes run it through here. I usually just take the brush. I have taken my uh, 20 gauge snake and actually put it up through here. It fits, fits pretty well. 
you want to wipe it out. Now you want to be careful, as I mentioned, about getting too much oil back in this area. Okay? You don't need a lot of oil, you don't need a lot of scrubbing back in the area. This is more of a dry clean. Okay? Take it off directly and all. But this is more of a dry clean. You too much oil in there, it's going to attract dirt. And then your firing pin mechanism is going to be shot, and then you're off to the gunsmith. Okay? Unless you happen to have all the gunsmith tools yourself. You try to get as much of this dirt out as you can. You can dry them out as you can. Make sure your pen is still working. It's just fine. Clean the grime off the side here. Okay, side of your slide. Okay, I'm going to wipe off here. Now, after several shootings, I will take a um, small Q tip or pipe cleaner down through here. Be careful not to scratch it with the metal used pipe cleaner. Um, right now, that that's pretty clean. A little wipe off on the spring. And then clean your trigger mechanism. Okay, so same I'm going to wipe off the trigger mechanism, get some of the dirt out of here. You don't want too much oil down into the trigger mechanism. It's just going to cause you some problems. Okay, But you do want to make sure your, where your slide comes in is clean. Look down where your magazine is, make sure you got that clean. Okay. There we go. All right. And that is uh, pretty good. All right. Let's see if clean off now. We're going to put it back together. Spring goes there. Let's put a drop of oil in here. Okay. Let it spin right. Drop of oil in the barrel. Very little. Okay. Just a little bit. Help that slide slip over the barrel. Okay. Barrel goes in. Spring straight up. Snaps into the bit front of the barrel right there. Okay. Pretty easy gun to take apart and to put back together. Now I usually go ahead and get a single little drop of oil where the slide has to come through. Okay. Now, if you don't clean your guns very often, I don't know that I would do this. Um, if you leave your guns dirty over time, that is just going to collect a lot of dirt where your slide comes through. Um, something that you do not want. So okay. I'm going to put the slide back on, um, get, it, get it back together. Uh, this is your disassembly lever, okay, right here. You want the disassembly lever up, all right. Set your slide in, and it will just slide right back. Okay. Now you want to get it back and get it locked. All right. So we're going to push our slide all the way back. Lock your slide. Bring your disassembly lever back forward. Okay. Remember, with this disassembly lever up, your slide's going to go flying off the front. Okay. So be sure before you let this slide go that this is down so you don't sling this across the room. But you bring your slide lock down and you're all back together. There it is.
So I take my um, silicone cloth, it's a clean gore silicone impregnated cloth. Wipe the gun down to try to get as much oil off of the gun as I can before we store it. And uh, that's it. That is cleaning the Springfield XD9 tactical.